Okay, this is a video about the lab, it's room 4000 of Peterson Hall, and this door is usually locked, but hopefully I'm going to be in here. And I hope you can leave all your food and drinks here, and if you need to drink or eat, it's best outside the lab to the right side, there's a kitchen. There's also a bathroom there on the right side. The left side of this lab belongs to Dr. Chitness, and uh, we collaborate, but for the purposes of neuroengineering lab, I prefer you to stay either in this bay that's directly across, or the next one, there's another setup, or the last one, so there are three bays and three groups of students. Um, up here, you're gonna see a crimper, and I will show you in case you don't know how to, uh, I'm sorry, not a crimper, it's a stripper, <laughs> even better, huh? It's a stripper for stranded wires, and I will show you how to do that in case you have never done it. Each setup has a power supply, a breadboard. You do not need to solder, but if you do, if you want to, uh, let me know so you do solder before you leave the lab. An oscilloscope and a function generator. So you, you do need to use those three. If you do want to set up the microscope, each setup also has a microscope that you would be setting up on top of your electrode. In the middle of the lab, you're going to need a capacitor and a resistor. So the first lab, actually, mostly resistors, and they are on these um, boxes here. I'd prefer you to get resistors that um, from these little trays that have a lot of them. If you do take one from one that has only one, please let me know so that I can uh, eventually buy more capacitors. So I showed you already one of the... Uh, setups. When you need to hook up oscilloscopes to power supplies, you can get um, both bananas, uh, alligators, not both, all of them. These are alligator clips, so these are alligator wires. These are coax wires, so these coaxes work for the function generators and for the oscilloscopes. Um, there's even more here. Some of the traditional um, oscilloscope probes that you can hook up to breadboard uh, are like this, so one side is a coax, another side is signal, and this here is ground. If you're using two of these um, probes, you only need to hook up uh, ground to one of them. The ground is internally connected in an oscilloscope. This is the second setup, so this is a function generator, oscilloscope, power supply, and breadboard, and a microscope there. This refrigerator is uh, being worked on by a senior design group that's making a sustainable fridge, so I would prefer the neuroengineering students to stay away from it. This is a VR headset. This is an open BCI um, EEG headset that I would also prefer you to uh, not touch unless somebody is here demoing it uh, to you. The third setup is here next to the chem hood, and again, there's a breadboard, there's a power supply oscilloscope, and function generator and a microscope. Mm, so I think that's that's all I wanted to show you. Um, there are several other pieces of equipment in this lab. This is an electrode puller. This is an electrochemical um, station. I will have also a multimeter for you to test your uh, resistors, uh, but I'm not gonna have several of them. So you can come up to the front of the lab and use a fluke multimeter that's inside here, but I'll put this up front. I hope this gives you a, an overview of the lab. There's so many um, sections that um, I thought easier to make a video and post it before you come to the lab. Let me know if you have any questions, but that's it.